tonight, I'm meeting one of their most feared ultra groups, the Droogie. They're named after the ultra-violent gang, the Droogs, from cult film, Clockwork Orange. But that's not the reason I'm nervous about meeting them. They have a deep hatred of English firms, born out of one of the darkest days in football history. Heysel is one of the worst football disasters the world has ever seen. 39 people died, 32 of them Italian Juventus fans. The tragedy took place during the 1985 European Cup final between Juventus and English club Liverpool, held in the Heysel Stadium in Belgium. Missiles had earlier been thrown between rival fans and about an hour before kickoff, a group of Liverpool fans charged across the terraces. Juventus fans retreated, causing a wall to collapse, and innocent people died. A UEFA official present at the game blamed Liverpool fans for the violence, but Liverpool fans have always criticised poor organisation within the stadium. There was never an official inquiry into the causes of the disaster. English clubs were banned from Europe for five years, and Italy's ultras can't forget. Yeah, it's still a very, very raw and open wound. Um, the ultras, if they see themselves as the defenders of the real fan, I think what happened at Heisel, it, it just falls completely into their mindset to see them as the people who almost need to take vengeance for it. And I think the fact that the innocents, the civilians almost, got killed that time, there's always going to be huge bitterness and I think for a long time a desire for revenge. In 1990, the World Cup was staged in Italy, England played in Turin, and the city's ultras saw it as a chance for revenge. The trouble came almost exclusively from gangs of Italian youths, out to avenge the Heisel Stadium disaster. And in 2005, Juve faced Liverpool in the Champions League, the first time the teams had met since the disaster, and Juve's ultras were waiting. The police struggled to keep the ultras away from Liverpool's travelling fans. More than 20 years on, Juve's fans are still affected by the events of that day. The Drugi formed in the wake of the tragedy. At the time of Heysel, they had an English name, the black and white supporters. But after Heysel, they changed it to Italian and eventually became known as the Drugi. Now, <clears throat> um, I'm a bit worried, I've got to say. I know these are real hardcore, you know, these are fanatics of the highest level. I know that, um, you know, we all know about the past, the Heysel disaster. You know, their supporters, they lost a lot of lives. That was down to, um, you know, that was down to a football match with an English club. And I don't know what sort of reaction I'm going to get, you know. This is in the back streets of Turin, you know. We're just going to go in, see what's going to happen, see what the vibe is. Hopefully it's going to be sweet, you know. Let's see what they've got to say. We met in the Droogies bar. Everywhere there were images of the Droogs, the violent gang they're named after. And as an Englishman, I didn't exactly get a warm welcome. But three guys agreed to talk to me. I met Mimo, one of the Droogie leaders. Fabio, the group's organiser, and their translator, Christian. What does it mean to be a Droogie Ultra? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to be a Droogie? Being a Droogie means being a person who is gente at hand, a person who is gente regular, a person who is an ultra, a person who has no fear of anyone, of anything. And when I say anything, nothing. And we will beat the hell out of everyone, okay? Okay. It's on me, isn't it? It's on me. 
the droogie rebel in being hated throughout Italy. We are against everybody. First of all, we are not alliance. Okay. We are alone. No, you know the song, uh, we are alone, yeah, we are yeah, alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Against everybody. We have no, no, no friend. Okay. No friend. Well. Juventus were relegated from Serie A in 2006 after the club was found guilty in a match-fixing scandal that rocked Italian football. They were stuck in Serie B and stripped of the championship title they won that year. Okay, I want to ask you, um, <coughs> obviously Juventus, big club, how did it feel this season being in Serie B? Um, how was that for you as a big club? Yeah, sì, sì. Certamente noi abbiamo i nemici sono cambiati, ma non tutti, perché comunque noi in Serie B abbiamo trovato dei nemici di vecchia data, quindi in qualsiasi campo noi andiamo c'è odio verso di noi. Certi campi sono più caldi, altri meno. Genoa e Napoli in assoluto sono i campi dove comunque c'è più odio nei nostri confronti. The Drugi filmed one of these hostile away trips to Genoa. Because they're usually in different divisions, it was the first time they played each other in more than 10 years. Turin and Genoa are both in the north of Italy, they're traditional rivals and everyone expected an explosive match. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened uh, with Genoa this season, has there been a lot of violence? Piccola trasferta proprio, no, i genovani merda, 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 polizia, più merda dei genovani, polizia, più merda. Because of their violent reputation, a police escort travels with them to away games. Ci hanno fatto allungare sti bastardi di 50 km, ci hanno fatto arrivare a partita iniziale, sti bambini puttani qua. Eh? Già quando siamo arrivati avevamo incazzato, c'eravamo due coglioni così. Perché non ce la facciamo? Che cazzo lì? Minga lì di fuori, ti fa. Minga, c'eravamo i coglioni che ce l'avevamo per terra, ti fa. Eravamo già incazzati. When they finally got into the ground, a reception committee wound them up even more. They received a barrage of abuse from Genoa fans over the Juve match-fixing scandal. Aveva offerto anche un grottesco prologo di striscioni e un assordante urlo ladri all'ingresso delle squadre in campo. Quando siamo arrivati là abbiamo combinato di tutto, abbiamo spaccato tutto. Genovani, don't you? Even though I'm English, I thought we were getting on fine. They started to open up to me, but that was about to change. 20 years after the Hazel disaster, how do you feel? Um, how do you feel about that? Is it still, is it still very sore? Is it still hurt? Do you still hate? Sì, do you blame all English who live in or just Liverpool? Okay. Se tu noi odiamo in particolare modo per quelli del Liverpool. Sì, in modo particolare, cioè per tutti gli inglesi, anche per voi che siete qua. Però insomma va bene così stasera per l'intervista. Anche per voi. Gli inglesi tutti, tutti, da là alla Z, a destra a sinistra. E anche per voi. <laughs> 